Hello, church. As we move into the crucifixion of Jesus, found in Matthew 27, just want to pick up in this one part and um, read the scriptures. The people passing by shouted abuse, shaking their heads in mockery. Look at you now, they yelled at him. You said you were going to destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days. Well then, if you are the Son of God, save yourself and come down from the cross. The leading priests, the teachers of religious law, and the elders also mocked Jesus. He saved others, they scoffed, but he can't save himself. So he's the king of Israel, is he? Let him come down from the cross right now and we will believe in him. He trusted God, so let God rescue him now if he wants him. For he said, I am the Son of God. Just going to pause right there. At the chastisement and accusations that are thrown in the direction of Jesus. And I think of so many today, even in our world now, that want God to prove himself to them in their situations. They won't believe unless he performs for them. There's been times in our lives, I'm sure, that we have asked God to do something and our faith is doubted because he hasn't done what we've asked in the moment that we asked. I want to challenge you today that, you know, sometimes we can speak really ignorantly and we can say things that without thinking them through about what we're really and actually saying. Let's be careful of what we say to God, what we ask of God. And how we believe in him in spite of circumstances and things that we're looking upon. For you and I know, as we look upon the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, that this was indeed the plan of God for our redemption. As you look upon your own life and you see your situations, you may not see the fullness of what God sees when he looks upon a situation that to us seems dark, bleak, and empty but it may bring life to us and to those around us. Let's trust him regardless and let's not speak foolishly. Let's be his church.